Hello everyone! So today, instead of doing a normal wear test video, we are going to do a how does this thing work video. Title TBD. Today we are testing out the Soap & Glory Pout Standing Double Ended Lip Contouring Crayon. So basically we are going to try this out, see how it works, does the theory that they had behind this make any sense whatsoever? All kinds of fun stuff. Soap & Glory very kindly sent me basically all the colors that they have in this. But today we are going to do the shade Rubella, or god, Rubarella, Rubarella, Rhubarbella, Rhubarbella. It's kind of like a nice nudie shade. I figured it's pretty like non-offensive. Okay, so I got my phone. I have what Soap and Glory has to say about this. They say, did her lips actually increase in size or had contouring magic tricked the eyes? Get gorgeous, fuller, curvier looking lips in the swoosh of a crayon. Line, shape, and soften lips with the matte end, then deploy the shine shade to fill. Yay! Presto! Lips so fabulous, they're poutrageous. It's in six sassy shades. I have a blog post with all of these swatches of all of these lipsticks on the blog. The link is in the description, so you can get all of that swatch content that you need. But basically, we're just gonna try it out. So it basically says, fill in with the matte, put the shine on top, have your gorgeous, fuller, curvier lips. And because I have swatched these, I'm actually going to sharpen them. It is a chunky crayon, so I have my large double-ended sharpener here. I just like sharpened the entire nub off the matte side. The matte side is not sharpening very well. It is just like sharpening down the wood, but not actually sharpening the um, crayon inside of it. So it's just kind of staying this weird little nub. I'm gonna keep going until I get something I can work with. I've been sitting here sharpening this thing for a while and I've been trying like different angles and trying to hit it on like different parts of the sharpener and it is not really working. Like this is as good as it's gonna get which is kind of unfortunate. The like other side, the shine side, sharpened really easily. You can see that the like girth <laughs> of the shine side is much uh, larger than the matte side, which has a very like narrow, thin bullet, I guess, whereas the shine side is much bigger. So I don't know why they did that, but it is very difficult to get a sharp point. Anyway, we are going to truck on, fill in the lips with the matte, top it up with the shine, see how it works, does it make my lips look bigger, all that fun stuff. As a fun before and after, this is what my lips look like with no product on whatsoever. And we will see how it compares to the contoured version. So we got the matte side here, as I said, cannot get it any sharper than this, which is unfortunate. And then we will follow up with the shiny side. This color more or less matches the color of my lips. It's very, very similar. So we will see if that helps or hinders the whole contouring situation. So I did choose to overdraw my lips just a tiny little smidge to, you know, do the contouring thing. It was fairly easy to line with this little nub of the matte side, but I don't know how matte it is. Well, it's mostly matte, but there is a hint of shine to it. As you can see, you can see mostly like right here. So I get why this has a fairly narrow amount, like compared to the wood, it takes up much less space so that you can get a more defined line. I get the idea of that. But like I said, it made it very difficult to sharpen. So, mm. so now that my lips are lined, I'm just gonna soften up the lining with a finger and then go in with the shiny side. And this is mostly so that there's not like a hard line between the matte and the shine. All right, time to shine. So I'm going in with the shiny side just to fill in the areas that don't really have the matte outline. So it's to give that contrast between the matte and the shine, which is hopefully going to give the lip contouring effect. So what do we think? You know what? I do think that my bottom lip looks fuller. 
I don't think that my top lip does but my top lip is already pretty thin. I think it is just generally going to be more difficult to contour but I do think that the addition of the matte gives that kind of contrast around my lower lip line that does make it look fuller and like pillowier and much kind of mm. but the overall effect is extremely subtle like this is not a who like lip contour here's a little side by side of the before and after so let me know what you think do you think this matte and shiny lip contour pencil is like the real deal do you think it's working do you think it's not working i will put all of my thoughts in a blog post on the blog later today, lipstickaday.com, and I will see you next time.